Hi guys, this is Umair back with another video. In this video, I will show you how we can debug our backend Node Express application directly in VS Code. So I will show you how we can add breakpoints in our backend JS files. And also I will show you how we can use the console window to print out the variable values inside it. So this is the project which I have built in my tutorial series on latest version of Node Express MongoDB and I've already created almost 40 plus videos covering these Node Express MongoDB bootcamp. So I have this new channel programming with Umair. I would just request you guys to go check this out from the link in the description of this video and do subscribe my channel because in this channel I have almost created 90 videos covering all the latest technologies like Angular 16, Node 18 version, latest React, latest Next.js 13.4 version and all the latest technologies, tips and tricks related to programming. All right. So so don't forget to subscribe my channel i have given the link of it in the description of this video so in this project we have these controllers models and other files as well so if i open up one of the controller which is notes controller and these are all the apis i have created to get the notes get notes by user get notes by id so let's say that if i want to stop the execution of program over here if i hit this api then i should be able to debug our variables written in this function all right and i have this postman and all these apis showing over here are created in my bootcamp course in my new channel and uh, i will be triggering this get notes api and when i will hit send and this function is going to be executed and i will stop the execution of program over here and i can do it with other controllers as well all right so first of all what we need to do is in vs code we need to click on this icon and then we need to click on this link create a launch json file all right and then i need to search for node.js if it's not visible but i have this visible node.js i will click on it and it will create a new folder dot vs code and inside it it will create launch.json file inside it all right we don't need to change anything inside it if you want you can change the name of it launch program to anything else all right we just need to close this file now okay so then if i go and click on this icon again i will see that i will see some different windows like variables watch call stack and the breakpoints which i've added and this is the one breakpoint i've already added showing over here all right and if i click on this drop down i have this launch program which is the configuration added and i have this run script start dev okay if it's not visible run script start dev if i go to my project in package.json file you can see that it's showing the start dev start prod and the debug and if any of these commands are not visible then and what you need to do is you need to go and select one of the programming language that you are using in your project i will go to the node.js and it will show me all the commands written in package.json scripts object okay and uh, i will i want my debugger to be run by this start dev so that's why i will click on it and once i will click on it it will start getting visible over here run script start dev okay so i will just select that start dev and i will click on this green icon and if i click on this green icon you will see in the terminal that it will start my program and it will attach the debugger over here okay and my current server of node express mongodb pro project is running on localhost colon 4000 and this is what i've already added slash api slash notes this is the api written in my routes file if i just quickly show you notes route and you can see that these are all my routes for the getting notes for uploading image for uh, getting the notes by id and all these apis are written over here okay so let's now try to see if our execution stops over here i have added this breakpoint i have this api i will just hit the send and you can see that it has stopped over here and on the left side we can see all the variables available in this function currently all of these are undefined at this time because this is the first line let's try to stop execution of program over here and i will add a breakpoint here and i'll click on this and now you can see that i can hover over different variable directly in my code editor to see what values included and i can see that excluded fields is added with the four values these four values are added and on the left side i can also see these four values okay 
and it is showing the call stack as well just like the browser and it's showing all the breakpoints which i've added in my program okay so just like this i can add these breakpoints in my models in my routes in my controllers and all the utility functions if i've added in my project and one more thing i want to show you is this debug console and inside it i can actually print out all the variables just like i do it in the browser console window so i will just be outputting my excluded fields uh let me spell it right excluded fields i'll hit enter and now you can see that it is showing all the four values which are available in the current context of this controller function okay and i can create the new variables inside it just like i do it in the console window of the browser a equals to two and uh, if i want to add a new property in my excluded fields uh, let's add excluded fields and uh, inside it i can add new key equals to this and if i hit enter and now if i print the excluded fields it will add a new value over here and i just showing you that how we can add the new properties in arrays variables and all the algorithms we can write directly over here we don't need to go to the chrome browser mozilla browser safari to actually debug our code that is written in node express mongodb and same steps we can follow for the python as well i hope that you have liked this video and again i would request you guys to subscribe my new channel programming with umair check the link in the description of this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos